Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining me. In today's video we're gonna be a little bit nosy. We're gonna see what people are like in bed. Now this can be a romantic partner or it can be your freaking mailman. I don't care. I was feeling a little mischievous today. If you would like a private reading I do offer those and all of my stuff will be down below but since this is a sex video I am going to disclaim do not email me if you're a creepy fuck just trying to see me naked. There will be a $50 of charge and you will not even see me naked. But aside from that here are the piles and I will see you in your group. Number two, group number three, and group number four. When you're ready, just click your timestamp in the description below and we will get started. Group number one, what are they like? Okay, we have Queen of Arrows, Transformation in Reverse, Eight of Coins, and Five of Staves. Okay, you know the expression like lay the pipe or like I laid that pipe or put the pipe in her, whatever that expression is, those are the vibes I'm getting. Like, they're going to work for it, okay? We have eight of coins. They're going to keep going until you get yours. Okay, this is if you're asking about a masculine, by the way. Um, I also feel like, to a certain degree, they feel a bit of struggle when it comes to spicy relations. Why am I censoring this? This isn't a censored video. When it comes to having sex, it's almost like they're not sure exactly, like, what moves to make. Or, or they just have, like, a lot of internal dialogue of, like, what's the right thing to do. And the way they sort of soothe themselves is by knowing that they put in the work. That's where their confidence comes from. Um, they want to make sure that both of you are having a good time. But the way that they're going to have a good time is if you're having a good time. We have Marathon. Again, laying the pipe. Mutual masturbation, humiliation, and I really feel like this is um, low-grade humiliation. Not low-grade, but like mild, mild humiliation. Almost like uh, like calling you like a slut or or saying that you're like a bad girl. That's what that's what I'm getting. Or like um, I can't really imagine a girl saying like you bad boy. <laughs> But maybe that's just because I wouldn't say anything like that. But something like that. Mild humiliation and degradation. Super, super mild though. Um, we have Dom and Sub. Uh, that makes sense with all of this. Toys. They want to play with toys. And they like it sloppy. Okay. Like they don't want to worry about being nice, being polite, body fluids, where they can and can't go. Like they don't give a fuck. They're in. They're They're down for whatever. We also have connect. So I feel like this is saying that they have to have an emotional connection. Um, maybe don't they don't have to be in love, but when you guys are, are having sex, they want to feel like there's some sort of connection. I don't feel like they just go out and screw strangers. Um, then we have threesome. I'm very much interested in that. And I honestly feel like whatever goes, you know, it could be two boys, two girls, three girls, three boys, whatever. I don't think that they're, it, nobody's picky here. Um, we have four of cups. Okay, now I, this is interesting to me. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on the back burner and come back to that. We have the lovers again. They they have to have an emotional connection. It's almost like the emotional connection gives them the freedom to explore in all of the ways that they explore. And I feel like it also tones down some of that insecurity because again, they do have a little bit of struggle happening. Let's see, we have two of wands. This goes back to that connection, okay? They have to connect or they can't. It's almost like they can't get it up or they can't get wet. Depending on who you're asking about, if the emotional connection is not there, they are not there. Uh, we also have, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, you have to make sure it, when you sleep with this person that you are paying attention to them, okay? Because if not, it's gonna trigger some jealousy. And that's what this four of cups is here. Again, like I said, this person has a little bit of security issues or self-confidence issues. So they're worried that they're not going to be good enough for you or that they're not going to be able to please you. Um, or just that they're not going to be good enough and that something else might have your eye, which is interesting. I feel like this whole threesome thing, it's its a bit, um, what's the word for a masochist? It's almost like they want somebody else in the bedroom just so that they can do better than them for you. Does that make sense? Um, now I will say if you placate this person and really stroke their ego and tell them how good they're doing and you know, all that good stuff. Now, and when I say humiliation, I don't, don't mean humiliate the style. Okay. The, the, how good it is. I just mean be like, Oh, you're so naughty, <laughs> you know? Um, because any hint of them not feeling good, I'm just going to cause them to shut down. But if this person feels secure, that's going to be some good stuff. So this is a quick video. That's all I got for today. I'm going to try and do these once a week because people love them. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Group number two. Let's see. We have two of arrows, princess of stays, king of coins. Whoop. I have the start of the deck. Okay. 
gag on my cock. Some people love that. You know what I mean? Um, some people, if they're having a hard time finishing, that's all you got to do. Make like a uh, sound. Immediately done. Okay. Um, stroke my face. Okay. I feel like you're asking about a feminine um, or like a masculine energy that's definitely not afraid to show their femininity in the bedroom. We have a grab my waist. Oh, yes. Look. Strap on. So... I feel like this is the kind of dude, if you're asking about a masculine, that's totally down with pegging, okay? You found it. Um, or this is about, obviously, same-sex relationships, females. Oh, hell, I don't know. A boy, you put it in whatever hole. Oh, wait. Boys only have one hole. <laughs> that's dumb. Anyways, swapping. Okay. I feel like this means less swapping partners and more swapping roles. Like, you know what I mean? Obviously, we have strap on here. Um, obviously, we have some feminine energy out coming out that also kind of reminds me of two of swords here it's like they they like to play with who they are in the moment are they taking the more submissive role or the more dominant role and I don't get like dom sub energy I just mean like you know like traditional things that people are meant to do like maybe if it's a man he would actually like to be on top during 69 kind of have some like uh logistics to work out there but seems like that would they that's what they'd be into we have hot wax um, bimbo kink so they do kind of like um a little bit of a ditzy girl not always I feel like for some of you that's not the case intuitively I'm feeling like a lot of you clicked on this group that that's not actually meant for um and everything else is that's going to be tailored to to a certain group of people just a few of you and then drunk sex this person likes to get drunk and then have a good time they feel like that lowers their inhibitions and also it makes sense if they do enjoy playing with energy why if they are, are very masculine presenting in everyday life that they would need a glass or two to be able to take a dick up the ass. You know what I mean? Okay, what else do we have? Five of Wands, incredibly passionate. Six of Cups. I feel like this runs deep. I feel like you might be asking some about somebody that you're romantically interested in. Um, I feel like this is also somebody who daydreams a lot about you, who passes the time maybe in the car or at work, like thinking about sexual fantasies with you. Random side note. Um, Six of Pentacles. Okay, this is all about um, masturbating and getting caught in the act. So they probably want to watch you please yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense here. We have Queen of Wands. Um, first of all, the masculine thinks that the feminine is just beautiful here. So beautiful. And they want to watch her enjoy herself. Watch her take her clothes off. Watch her play with herself. Watch her please herself. And then we have Ace of Cups. This is all about, this is like making love, okay? Um, really giving themselves over to the moment and over to feminine energy. Um, and I feel like to a certain degree, they also like to feel protected during sex so if you can take that masculine role I don't mean necessarily like any sort of traditional masculine that you might hear about that's toxic but like just really take letting them explore their feminine energy we all have both in us so if you can ride that wave with them you're gonna have a wonderful fantastic sex life or if you're just being nosy then that's what's up this is a short video today so that's all but I uh, I'm gonna do more of these so Thank you, and I hope I see you in another one. Group number two, we have Temptation in Reverse, Ten of Arrows, Awakening in Reverse, Seven of Saves. This person likes taboo shit. Now, I feel like it was in the last one that I did that came out. We have Pull My Hair, Good Girl, Deep Throat, Littles. Here's that, here's that taboo shit. And also Cougars, more taboo shit, but on opposite ends of the spectrum. I feel like that's what this person likes, extremes extremely young and I'm not talking anything illegal here well but schoolgirl fantasies you know or like barely 18 barely legal new puffy tits you know what I'm talking about that kind of thing um all the way to like old grannies like gum my dick no way I used a granny voice to say that I'll gum your dick sonny very very opposite extremes here okay we also have two of pentacles so he wants to like sneak up behind you like you're not ready for it um and if you are the masculine she wants to be taken by surprise although i feel like you are the feminine because cougars and littles came out and those are feminine terms and i had masculine terms in here okay anyways i digress um, five of Pentacles. This is all about being left out in the cold. And then as you can see here, they are making out in front of a fiddle. <laughs> in front of my fiddle? <laughs> Did 
Do you know that meme? In front of my cell. <laughs> Anyways, um, doing it outside. The uh, okay, okay. Um, Knight of Swords. This goes back to the okay. Any sort of like taboo shit. I I honestly feel like they'll have sex in a way that they. It kind of seems like they're um not feeling good about it. Like they might seem like they feel guilty or ashamed. It might take a little bit of coaxing. I feel like they're gonna have some weird energy in the bedroom. I really do. <sighs> there's this this number going on. Oh look, and there's people. Oh my god, they're like, <gasps> oh my god, it looks like church people. They can't believe it. And then we have Eight of Cups. This card in traditional right away is about leaving to find something better. Again, I feel like regular stuff doesn't do it for them, which is probably why, honestly, they might feel like they are bored or, again, ashamed in some way, like whenever they're in the bed with you. Uh, because they just want more, 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 more weird shit, more weird stuff. Like, what what else can we try? They just They just need really, really weird shit. And I mean, I'm not saying that to kink shame. I don't like your weird shit, but weird shit is weird shit. You feel me? Then we have King of Pentacles. And now see, this is like, I don't like saying this, but an R.A.P.E. fantasy. Uh, I don't want to kink shame that. As honestly a fantastic tool for healing for some people because it brings the power back to them. So I'm going to leave that at that. But it's... It's like that, almost like she's ashamed. It's okay, there we go. They want to do stuff with you that transfers the feeling, the inherent feeling of guilt and shame that they feel onto you. So they want to put you in vulnerable positions where you might be embarrassed so that they're like, oh yeah, now we're both embarrassed. Now we're both ashamed. I feel like this person was probably raised to have a shameful feeling surrounding sex and probably they need a little bit of therapy and I say that with love and they can obviously work through this but in terms of what they're gonna be like in bed I feel like it's gonna be a little bit awkward I mean that is the best way other than the little details I've given you now I, I feel like it, it might be awkward I'm not saying you can't work through that and I'm not saying you can't like go to that level with them and oh my gosh be embarrassed and be ashamed and have a lot of fun I feel like you can but I do feel like it's gonna be awkward um for sure. I mean, a little bit, at least at first, because it's like, they're going to want to do these things to you. But because there's like that weird mix of shame and guilt, they're not going to fully have the confidence to like, go through it. Please tell me, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes people try to do shit, but like, it's not the moment. Like, they're not really pulling it off. And then you're like, oh, yeah, I'm a bad girl. All right. <laughs> but they didn't sell you on it. That's what it is. They want to do all these things. They want to get kinky. They want to get weird, but they're going to have a hard time selling you on it because they don't fully believe that that's who they can be. It's weird. Um, but that's all I have. I plan on doing a lot more of these because you guys seem to like them. So thank you for joining. And I do hope that I will see you in another Group one. Group number four. What's your person like in the sack? We have Triumph <laughs> in reverse. Grace in reverse. Ace of coins. Two of cups. Well, isn't this interesting? For some of you, you're asking about somebody that you were deeply connected with. Um, but, for, okay. Let's just read these and see what they say. We have role play. Virgin, ride, anal play, spit in my mouth, ooh, orgy, praise, rough, I want to watch you, vanilla, oh, girl, some of that don't sound too vanilla, stroke my hair and hair play, and biting and scratching. You know what I think it is? I think it's vanilla positions spicy doings <laughs> you know what I mean it's like a baked potato with all the fixings we also have the hierophant and look at this okay this goes back to that praise I think that they have a praise kink now whoever the masculine is has the praise kink so if you're asking about a feminine they want to praise you they want to be the praiser um the masculine is getting praised in this situation regardless of who you are uh, six of swords. I feel like they're going to go down on you very well. Uh, I'll just show you that card. Let's see what else we have. Eight of pentacles. Yeah, look, okay. This person likes to work for it. Okay. Well, unless you're the feminine, then you like want them to work for it. Um, and either way it can be accomplished. Like the feminine in this connection is going to play coy really well. And the man is going to like, 
chase really well but it's all playful it's not like they don't really want to play a mind game neither one of them but it's almost like he likes to work for it a little bit like oh no i'm not in the mood um obviously no means no like don't be a weirdo if you're if you get yourself in a situation and this girl says no boy you better fuck off Ugh. anyways but within the confines of sensual sex it's so it's it's playful it's just like oh who me no not right now what maybe when she's doing the dishes or whatever also uh the masculine here like truly truly enjoys the feminine's body fluids i'm talking squirt 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 all over the place all over his chest he'd probably fucking dive in and snorkel if he could body fluids bother him none um nor does it bother the feminine i feel like the, this is the kind of girl you can come on her face come all over her wherever you want to come go on come on come on we also have the sun uh this person if you're asking about a person that you're having sex with you're not just being weird or nosy but even if you are asking about somebody to be nosy they are insanely good in bed okay like they know what they're doing they're well studied they've paid attention um they are very very good in bed i also feel like they have okay one of my friends called it a command nut one time <laughs> it's like you can decide when you come. I feel like they have this talent. Um, I will say that they lack a little uh, grace in the bedroom. And I think what I mean by that is technicality. Like maybe they don't have a lot of technical skill, but what they lack in technicality, technical skill, they make up for enthusiasm and just a just pleasure. They make up for for lacking technical skill to where you probably wouldn't even notice. Every now and then you might be like, that was a weird move. Um, but you're so enthralled in the experience that you won't notice. And then finally, we have Eight of Wands, okay? Um, again, this person isn't just gonna, like, come quickly. They they just, they, they don't. This was in reverse. This is Eight of Wands. This is all about coming quickly. So, it's like they decide when it's over. It's over when you say it's over. And just lots of female pleasure here. The man is really doting. Again, this goes back to praise. I Maybe this praise here is a two-way street. Because there's, there's yeah, I think it's a two-way street. I think both parties in, in, like the praise here. But again, it's it's super playful. And it's super, um, you know, if it's not that they uh, want you to play coy, it's that you two do play coy. Maybe you guys are like friends and you know better than to screw around but it inevitably happens and it's just kind of like maybe you're sitting really close and then like slowly ever so slowly you come together and you kiss maybe a situation like that something that's unspoken you know what I mean it's like you guys never are like yeah we're about to fuck but it's like inevitably it happens on the weekends one of those deals but anyways that's all short video I'm gonna start doing these probably once a week because you guys like them I hope that you will join me in the next one